Tennessee. Morristown, Tennessee. Uh, this is the lead card at Rotary Disc Golf Course. No. Now we're moving on to hole number one. It's 435. <laughs> he had to, he had to hang that out really far right mm -hmm. to get it to. Just absolute crush from Snappy. Mm. Mm, like, Turn that one over a little bit. He's going to end up on the side of the hill there. You definitely don't want to be trying to weigh with it. He's pushing forward. He's trying to get up there, and he's doing a great job. Oh, oh man. Goodness. He was running ads. <laughs> that one's got to hurt this yeah. late in the tournament. Touch with his comeback or no problems from him. I've watched Snappy on a couple of... <laughs> 240 foot hole number that is great i mean that's pinpoint accuracy you would say dutch going with a forehand roller as well cut out a little early on mm -hmm. a little bit of band blood it's all right Dutch going Ooh, with a turbo putter. The Flying Dutchman. I've, I've heard of this. Yeah, I saw a video where Dutch made a huge turbo putt, but he's had a few tough breaks since then. ...of the round four coverage. Uh, it's 307 round four, so that's, uh, that's how you want to finish this fourth round. Dutch with a flick as well. A little mm. too low. It's hard to so find that balance. You have to hit the you have to have height control on your on your drive. Yeah, even if you don't really get your oh. your tee off right, you still got a great chance at a three. So oh, that you can hit there and he's was still able to carve the three, so good putt from Dutch. Also carding the birdie three. Uh, they were starting on hole number one, so uh, hole number uh, drop off behind. Uh, there's no real OB in place. Mm. In play, I'm sorry. Dutch Napier has a good flick. He finds a gap out, and that's pretty much a placement shot you want. Uh, come down and give yourself a putt. Dutch had a good drive. Just a soft flick. Nice. A little bit too much skip there, okay. but he's got a putt. Okay. As you Dutch lining up for a birdie as well. Such a great putter. Yep. As you can see, he just he gets himself and in, in, he gets ready in his routine, and uh, he makes which is really Pretty good. good. Yeah. yeah. Moving on to hole number five, throw to get it up there. Uh, yeah. I know they make it look so much easier, but as you as you know, the pros always make it look a whole lot easier. Uh, we're not getting it up there unless we have uh, a good drive. It saw something. Dutch looking for a two. Mm. Oh, close. Yeah, it's it's just this to the par on this oh, yeah. Especially snappy with how far his dip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Only two strokes behind uh, Chris Dickerson. He's birdie left side. You definitely can't throw it high on this hole. No. There's, there's too much going on up top. Yeah. There is OB on the right side. You can see those. Oh, you can see something. Something on a tee pad there. You can see his disc drop down in the woods right back there. I have no idea. Yeah. From where he was, that's really good. Dutch is going for this. And I'm <laughs> looking, yeah, <laughs> looking at about nothing, but somehow okay. he makes it work. I thought he was going for it for a second. <laughs> um, if you're not on top after a, a four, trying to stay up uh, in the top four. Moving on to hole number seven, the basket right there. Corey zoomed in. Looks like Dutch is going to throw a roller as well. Oh. oh. I wanted to keep
keep trying to spin after they hit the ground. If you've cleaned it up quite a bit before this tournament, so it looks a lot better than it has in years past. Dutch looking to toss one up there and hopefully get on the top. Yeah. He's got a long putt. Dutch looking at a very long putt here. He did make it to the top of the hill, but he's on the left side. Wow. What a putt. <laughs> great putt from Dutch. Up at the top. So great charge from Colin there. Moving on. Made an approach yeah, shot. Yeah. Like an easy approach shot for the basket. You can see these guys are all laying in about the same spot. So they're just kind of doing a placement. Yeah, the danger is you hit any of these trees on the approach, you could be rolling right back down the hill. Yes, Happens you definitely that. could. He almost put that one in. Just a quick warning to anybody that plays this course, that hill can be kind of treacherous if it has rained. So if you play this course, be careful going yeah. up and down that hill. Chill out on the yeah. way down. <laughs> uh, Colin and Chris are still tied at the top. Moving on to hole number. I didn't know if it was an early release. Or he was trying for a skip. Now seeing it on video, he was trying for the skip. Mm -hmm. But great shot from Dutch. It was up there. Oh yeah. Dutch taps in for it. <laughs> BDG sees Griffith right there walking around with the pro. Didn't realize I did that. Moving on to hole number ten, three hundred and ten feet. This is an absolute definite must get. Easiest hole in Morristown. I'd well, say. at least on the course. On this course, I don't know if I would say in Morristown, but most wide open. Yeah, this is one. That you think Dutch is going to make this? I would say yes. Is <laughs> <laughs> uh, one struck behind him at thirty-three down for the lead? Shooting a hot round. Yes, five hundred. Moving on to hole eleven, which I would say, right after the easiest hole on the course, is probably the hardest hole on the course. 485 feet, it's a par four. It plays about 6,000 feet, I feel like. <laughs> it's so uphill. <laughs> now, what these guys are doing here, do not think you're gonna come out to this course and do this. That is an absolute crush right there. Yeah. That's a great shot from Dutch. I mean, Colin's sitting up there for a birdie three as well. I've only birdied this hole maybe three times, so that tells you, I, I know I'm not that good of a player, but, ooh, duck. <laughs> that just blows my mind. Dutch taking his time getting in his putting routine. He's down on one knee, and he Man. makes it happen, as always. There's, that's the hard holes. To me, that's just not fun going yeah. up that hill. <laughs> Moving on to hole number 12. This is the last hole of the front nine. Uh, 355 foot par four. Definitely does not play as a par four. These guys are uh, trying to run and trying to land near the basket. Well, Dutch I mean. does exactly that. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Here, here's Dutch. <laughs> just, just looking to tap in an eagle here. <laughs> As we said, you know, this one, I think we've all got this one in two before. Yeah. They try and make it into the final nine, so uh, they got to make something happen here. This is 320 foot par three, hole 13. It's a uh, dog leg left. Uh, you can see the tree line to the left there. Uh, you want to go, uh, I'd say, about 120 feet and then cut into the left. You can see Dutch through a forehand roller. What? And he makes it up into the little area up there. It's that's a tough one. He had a good run in it. Yeah, Dutch is going for this. Definitely. It's such a great drive to be landing up on the edge up there. Oh, Ooh. I really wanted that one. I looks like everybody's going to be tapping in for their threes. Mm -hmm. The unfortunate thing about this is uh, I feel like start of, uh, at least at the start of this back nine, we've got a lot of the two, the uh, birdieable holes out of the way. Dutch, uh, Prodigy sponsored Dutch Napier here. This is 315 foot hole 14, also a par three. 
It's a tough. It, it's tough, but it, you just you got to throw straight exactly like what Dutch did. Uh, Dutch had a, a, a great drive, but he did end up on the left side a little bit. Uh, he's got a putt, but you can see he's got the woods directly behind him. Mm. Yeah, they're just footing. I hate to see Snappy's, <laughs> Snappy's putt go out like that. Definitely. He, he deserved that after that hard work. Either way, they shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so it looks like Colin actually did go out of bounds there. He got a bogey. There's no line. Mm. It's, it's kind of throwing hope on this hole. You can get through, but there's definitely going to be some luck involved. You don't really want to put luck on a... <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> no, no, not going to happen from the BDG seeker. Dutch had uh, he had a run for a birdie, but nice. Uh, a three-stroke lead. Um, not that many uh, holes. Definitely, uh, there's, a, there's a fair way here. Uh, like Griffith said, you, you want to throw something with a little bit of Anheuser, get it to turn over. A lot is that was going to need to turn all over a lot more. Wow, that actually cut through a lot more than I thought. Put. Mm, looks like it's a little thicker over there than what I thought. He gets out, so it's definitely going to be a par for one. And we had, I think, two spit outs on the same exact hole. <laughs> I swear, there's lead as we move into hole number 17. It's a 310 feet dog leg, just a little bit outside the circle. So that, that's a great drive. Dutch going with a forehand roller. I could see this being a great play on this hole. And he executed that perfectly. Yeah. That right there does not happen on this hole very often. I'll just... Dutch, after his excellent roller, getting into his putting routine. So from all the other videos he's been in, just an excellent putter. Hopefully he can yep. do exactly that. <laughs> Great putt, Dutch. But mm -hmm. Moving on to hole 18. It's the 540-foot par 4. It's wide open. Uh, you can see the raised area down at the bottom. The basket's located right in the center of that. Basically, grip it and rip it on this hole. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a really pretty finishing. Mm -hmm. Finishing well, it's not going to be finishing on this round. <laughs> not on this, but round, it's a but finishing hole hole eighteen. Of course, yeah. Yeah, you see, that's nice looking. I like. Nah. He wanted to make it up into the wood chips. Didn't quite make it, but he still got up putt. That come up uh, short. Uh, the big covers you've seen recently on the large channels like Joe Mez and CCDG and all this. Uh, he's been making a push on almost every turn. Oh, I'm just so dynamic on another latitude that can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy, I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. I've been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies, I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.